All right, guys, today we are hitting triceps. Again, I would normally be hitting triceps with abs, but we did do that yesterday because I didn't have school, and I just thought, why not get it done then? Don't have much to say about this today. Like, all we can start with three warm-up sets of some skull crushers, and then we'll get straight into the workout. So let's start with this first warm -up set here, and then I'll talk a bit more. Again, still trying to mic out, so hopefully it does work well this time. First warm-up set, you're just going to do eight nice easy reps. Here we go. All right, Whew. I can feel my abs when laying back on this thing a little bit because I did hit, like I said, I hit abs yesterday. So just stretching it out, laying back like that, I can actually like feel them. So that's, I don't think it'll really affect me much, but yes, yeah, pretty much going to be a normal tricep workout. Hopefully this mic doesn't like disconnect or anything this time because that's what happened last time and it was kind of weird. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Anyways, I'm going to move this way up to 25 real quick and go for the second warm-up set here. So let's go. All right, second warm-up set here. Move it up to 25. Again, just going to do a couple nice, light, not light, but easy reps here. So second warm-up set, here we go. All right, done with that. So I'm gonna move this up to our working weight again. Pretty sure it's breathing the same weight as last time, 27 and a half pounds. So everything should go pretty good today. Feeling nice, feeling ready for this workout. So let's again, make it the best we can. I'll adjust this real quick for the last warm up set and then we'll get into the workout. Again, five sets of skull crushers, five sets of close grip dumbbell press, and five sets of overhead tricep extensions. So, yeah, let's do this last warm up set and let's get into it. All right, last warm up set here. Again, using our working weight of, I believe it's 20, 27 and a half. Yeah, 27 and a half. So, four easy reps here. Again, just focusing on that range of motion. Last warm up set. Here we go. All right, that's warm up sets complete. So, yeah, again, hopefully this mic is working well. Um, I'm pretty sure as long as it shows that little green dot right there, it is on and is connected to my phone. So, I think that'll show me if it's actually working or not. But I'll try to keep checking it just to make sure it doesn't connect, disconnect or anything. So, yeah, hopefully it goes all well and. I do have two of these things, I like I said earlier, so I'll be able to charge them. I think, like I said, I did die last time, which kind of sucked, but don't got much to say right now. Let's go to the first set of these skull crushers. Again, going to absolute failure, trying to focus on our form, and yeah, let's go. All right, set one of these skull crushers. Again, we're now getting into the actual working sets, so going as hard as we can, trying to maintain our decently strict form here. So set one, here we go.
All right, 13 reps. Let's try this. Again, these little partial slash drops at the end here. Until it really starts burning, here we go. Mm. All right, I think that's all we're doing. I think last time I might have discussed actually just to not do this little drop set here because I don't want to add more fatigue, but kind of forgot about that right before I got into this. I don't know if that was something I said or not, but I'm just going to keep doing it like that for now. And then if by next workout we decide, I'll decide if I want to keep it or not. Next time I'll probably will try it without those little drop sets, but I think I just want to keep it for now. And we'll try that out later. But first one pretty good. We got 13 reps, so I think that was the same as last time. But yeah, even from that, can definitely feel in my triceps, which is always what we're aiming for, which is great. So yeah, let's go to set two of these skull crushers. All right, set two of these skull crushers. It does seem my mic is working pretty well. I just got to make sure, like, actually kind of talk into it. Otherwise, if I'm like talking over here, you guys won't really be able to hear me as well. So. Second set, again, going as hard as we can and doing the little partial slash drops at the end right there. Set two, here we go. Be able to get 12 that time, that's all right. Let's go for this drop set here, these little partials. Here we go. <clears throat> all right, I think that's what I'm already doing. So, was trying to go for 13 there, but just couldn't get that up unless I probably tried breaking my form down again, which is not what I want to do. So, still we are getting the same reps. Again, like I've been saying lately, I don't want to ego lift to get extra reps and I think, oh, I'm getting stronger and progressively overloading. I want to make sure I'm going that strict range of motion and... I kind of learned that it's fine if you don't improve on your reps every workout, but if you see improving like maybe a rep or two over a month, that'll, that's what you want to be aiming for. So I think that's just what I've learned. I'm not sure if that is 100% right or not, but I don't know if every workout you are supposed to improve like at least a rep or more than that because that's how I was used to doing. When I ego lifted so much, I just do more and more momentum to get those extra reps out. So try not to do that. Try to use that strict form like always. So let's go to set um, three of these skull crushers. All right, set three of these skull crushers. Again, let's make this another great set. Keeping that form strict. Set three. Let's go. Mm. 
Ooh. <sighs> All right. Okay. Definitely not getting the 13. Didn't even get it last time. So 12 reps again there. Let's go for the little partial slash drop set here. All right, ooh, set three done. I do realize like even when I do those um little drop cuts, they do take like a decent amount of time, which again, I do want to have a longer time to recover between these sets also, because I don't want to have my drops, my um reps dropping like, like on one to two reps every single time. It's not what I want to be happening. But maybe like a, two three rep drop at max through all four sets so normally i'll start with like these i'll start with 13 and end at 11 that's normally what happens for any given like exercise i do so whew. again maybe i want to up the weights next time just to get in that lower rep range so i always have been working on the high rep range again it's good to experience all kinds of different rep ranges no matter what your goal is but just focus on the the rep range that suits your main goal, first of all. So anyways, let's go set four of these um, skull crushers. Feeling pretty good. All right, set four of these skull crushers here. I got to get used to this mic a little bit too because I keep looking at the camera to talk to you guys, which I mean is what I want to do, but then if I look over there, you guys can't hear me as well. But anyways, set four these skull crushers. Again, going our hardest, trying to maintain this form. Here we go. Okay, 11 reps. Whew. Man, you can really feel that burn there. Let's go for this drop set slash partials real quick. Mm. All right. Ooh, and we are done. Again, I can definitely go harder on those little partial slice drops at the end, but I don't want to fatigue myself too much. That's why, again, I'm thinking of just not even doing them next time we do these. So with these um, close grip down press coming up, I'm just going to drop, not even do the drops that either this time. I might just go for some little partials. So... <sighs> Yeah, that's about it. We got one more set left for these um, um, skull crushers. Jeez. Then we'll move on to close grip dummy press. All right, set five. Last set of these skull crushers. Triceps already feeling pretty darn good. So that's always great. Jeez, got to tighten this real quick. Make sure these are nice and tight. <laughs> Don't want the weights to be falling off. But to last set right here, let's go our hardest and finish this off strong. Last set, here we go. Okay, 11 reps again. Oh man, I'll tell you that feels great. Let's do these little partials, half reps, and we're done. Hmm. 
Mm. <clears throat> All right, that should be about it. Whew. Triceps are feeling amazing right now, and we are done with these skull crushers. I'm not going to talk much right now because I do need to change these real quick before I head into the next set, but I said that went pretty good. only thing I'd say is just focus on that form more going nice and slow here, so... Let's move on to these close grip dumbbell press. Again, not gonna do that drop set. That one, not gonna do this drop set this time. Doing this, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just gonna do partials until I really can't move the weight anymore. So let's go to the first set of these close grip dumbbell press. Um, these skull crushers went pretty well. All right, set one of these close grip dumbbell press. Again, we're not gonna be doing that drop set anymore. I'm just gonna do partials at the end here. You'll know what I mean if I. If you've been watching me for a while, so set one, close grip, jeez, close grip, no more press. Let's go. Mm, come on. Okay. Uh, 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 I think that's about all we're getting. Alright. Again, you saw there at the end, I just tried pressing it out a little bit more. Did get 13 reps. I should probably move my mic too because I'm not trying to smash these. Um, Dumbbells right on my chest, which wouldn't be very good, obviously. So, I actually might just leave it here because, again, when I do these, I don't go down all the way because I want to hit my triceps more and just get that little pump motion right at the top there. Just going up and down. So, even just doing this, if you do this, you can feel your tricep really squeeze there. You don't want to go all the way back here. You just want to do this until you can feel the squeeze and just pump those out. Because when I did do these, when I would touch my chest, I could feel it in my chest more, I feel, than my triceps. So, first set, pretty successful. Again, we're not counting those partials. We did get 13 reps right there, 13 full reps. So, let's go to set two of this close grip dumbbell press. All right, set, uh, set one, I almost said, um, not one, set two, geez, of this close grip dumbbell press. Again, let's go for the same thing. Going to failure there, and then just trying to pump those little partials out at the end without trying to smash this mic, hopefully. So, set two of this close grip dumbbell press. Let's go. Only get 12. Let's try these partials. Okay, I can't even really. <clears throat> Didn't go how we wanted it, to be honest. I think I just need to move this mic. We got 12 there. See, I tried going for partials, but when I'm needing to start to put this on my chest, I'm needing to move it like down more. I want up here so I can just press more. So I think I just might move this mic up. Again, I, I just don't want to sound weird for you guys. That's why I am kind of iffy on if I want to move it to a different part of like my shirt or something but anyways I think I'll just put it right here for now hopefully you guys will just be able to hear me fine like this so I'll do the rest of these sets with the mic here hopefully it doesn't make too many funky noises if it does I will change it so 
yeah let's go for set three now again going our hardest got 12 reps this time let's continue to do this all right set three of this close grip demo press again hopefully this doesn't make too many funky noises if it does i will try and change it so sorry about that if it isn't the best but set three of this close grip demo press let's go Oh my gosh, man, I barely got that 12th one out. I think that was because I was going too deep on those first few reps there. And I think I definitely need to move this because, to be honest, I'm thinking it was making some very unpleasant noise for you guys because it kept rubbing on my shirt. So, did get 12 reps that time though, just barely. So, I think I just need to move this, make sure I'm not going so deep because, again, I don't want to target my chest as much. I want to get it all in my triceps, so just remember that for next time. Otherwise, we did get 12 here. We're getting the exact same reps as last time, so let's go set four of these close grip dumbbell press. Let's continue going our hardest. All right, set four, I believe, of this close grip dumbbell press. I did move it, like, a lot closer to my mouth, so I probably will try talking a bit quieter, but hopefully it doesn't get in the way because earlier it was more down here. But anyways, set four. I'm just close grip dumbbell press. Let's keep going our hardest and trying our best. Set, set four. Here we go. Only got 10 there. I don't know what happened, to be honest. The thing with these things, I think what happened there is it just honestly slipped, man. Like, you probably saw it right there. You know, that just really makes me mad. These these things are so hard to do this closer demo press with because I can't keep, like, the weights together. They just, like, rub against each other all the time. And, man, that's just annoying because I know I could have gotten more reps if the stupid thing didn't slip. Like, for example, these 20s here, I don't know if you can see them or not, but, you know, like, like normal dumbbells, they're, like, um, straight. They got, like, six straight, um, edges, like a stop, like, near the stop sign shape, you know what I mean. And these are obviously circles, so I can't keep them together, and that's just super frustrating, man. Because, <sighs> like, when, this one was getting loose right here, when they get loose, they just rub more and more together, so... We did get 10 that time, but I bet you'll be able to get 11 and 10, maybe 10 probably easily, maybe 11 next time. Again, hopefully these things stop. Normally it doesn't happen to me, but sometimes they, would, they will rub together and just slip. It has happened to me in the past, but not much recently. So just got to remember to, if that does happen and we get last reps, that's most likely why. But other than that, Let's move to set five. I believe this is the last set of close grip dumbbell press we'll do. So let's just try our best on that. And yeah, we're half through this workout. Let's keep going. All right, set five of this close grip dumbbell press now. I think I can talk a bit louder. I just, again, don't want the mic to be so so um annoying because sometimes it does make weird noises. Again, it's like a really cheap mic, but you guys do like it better, so... Let me know what you guys think again. Hopefully it is working a lot much, much, much better. So 
set five, last set of this close grip demo press. Let's go. All right. Yeah, see, that time I got 11. So I think that part of the reason we got 11 too is because. He didn't even have a chance to really use this partial at the end because it just slipped. So, yeah. He get 11 on that rep on this set. I mean, last set we pretty much should have gotten 11 if the th stupid thing didn't slip. But again, our triceps feeling you know, nice. When I did do the drop sets with just one dumbbell here and I would do this, I did feel get a very weird feeling in my shoulders. So that's another reason why I just stopped doing that. So, triceps still. Feeling pretty nice. Just squeeze them in. They feel nice and pumped, nice and tight when I just want to do that. It feels just great. So done with these. Now we got five sets of overhead tricep extensions. Gonna try our absolute best on those, going our hardest. And yeah, um, let's go to the first set of those. Let's try hardest on those and make them the best we can. Set one, overhead tricep extensions. Here we go. All right, set one of these overhead tricep extensions. Move the weight up on this one from 32 and a half to 35. So dropped, reps will probably drop a bit. But again, we're still drop sitting with this 20 pounder here. So let's get this started. We're going to do five reps of these. Set one here. Again, trying to keep this form strict. Going as hard as we can. Here we go. All right, only was able to get 12 there. That's all right. Go for this drop set again until failure on these also. Here we go. Okay, 12 by 8 there. Still trying to figure out a good grip on this 20. Like anything I try and put my both my hands on there just feels really funky. I think I am going to move this mic down just a tad bit because it keeps rubbing against my chin a little bit. kind of annoying, but whew, feeling nice, man, right now. I got a nice pump, so got four more sets of these. This so workout's actually been going pretty quickly, to be honest. I don't know why, to be honest. Probably maybe because I had a I had a long school day because it was the first day of my second semester. So literally all the teachers just talked and talked and talked the whole time. So it felt school felt very long. This might be why it's just feeling fast. Also because we're not doing an ab workout today, but triceps feeling nice. Let's continue doing this again, making sure to keep that strict form. I'm not using too much momentum. Just going forward a little bit so I don't hit myself in the head with that. So 12 by 8 reps. Again, new weight here. So let's continue doing this. Go to set 2 overhead tricep extensions. All right, set 2 of these overhead tricep extensions. Triceps are, again, feeling pretty phenomenal. So like always, going as hard as we can go. Trying to keep decently strict form here. Set 2 overhead tricep extensions. Here we go. Mm. 
Whew. 12 there again. Man, it feels nice. She just drops it with 20 again. I'm still working on grips for this. Here we go. Come on. All right. I only got seven on that one there. I think when I am doing those drop sets, I'll kind of keep my hands like this. So I feel like that was the most comfortable just doing this now. You guys probably can't really see what I'm trying doing, but I think I found what's most comfortable for me on that. We did get 12 by seven this time. So again, triceps feel nice. Pump is looking pretty darn good right now. Veins are going pretty wild so yeah feeling good if you got three more sets left don't got much to say right now again it's always good to just make sure i'm focusing on that form right there i might try again looking more into that because I, I can obviously feel it in my triceps but i can definitely think that i can show see when i'm doing these my back is like curved i don't know if it should what you should have it like that or you want to like engage your abs keep a straight back the whole time that's just little things I have to look into with my form. Otherwise, feeling great. Let's go to set three of these overhead tricep extensions. All right, set three of this overhead tricep extensions. Again, let's continue going our best, going our hardest. Not going our best. I don't even know if that's like a proper English. But going our hardest and trying our best. Set three. Here we go. Jeez, sorry about that. Only got 11 there. Hopefully the mic's still fine. Scholars drops it with the 20 here. Man, these 20s really get me a nice, just good squeeze in those triceps there. 11 by, 11 by 7 this time. So last two times we did start with 12. Again, using the new weight, I feel like we are doing pretty good here. So, yeah, um, let's keep going. Triceps feel absolutely phenomenal right now. It's even, again, it's sometimes when my muscles are sore, it's kind of hard to flex them because they're just so pumped, man. But that's what you want to see. That's what you want to feel, man. So got two more sets left of this workout, and we're complete. Kind of get a short day today because we did, did a pretty long workout yesterday. Pretty sure it was the longest video I posted on YouTube. So, yeah, let's go to set. I believe this is four. Oh, he's overhead tricep extension now. Let's continue doing what we're doing. All right, set four of these overhead tricep extensions. Almost done with the workout, so let's just push through these last two sets. Continue trying our best. Set four, here we go. Eleven reps again. Jeez, they're coming loose a little bit there. All right. Anyway, let's try this drop set here quick.
Jeez, this mic is really... Again, it's kind of hard to put it in a good position. But... Whew, another good set. 11 by 7, just like last time. Don't got much there right now. Again, so... I actually did. I don't know, it's just popping in my head. I just, like I said, I just turned 15 like two weeks ago. So, um... I was able to get my, like, driver's temp, I think they're called, like, temps or something. You're, like, um, it's kind of like a, a four-year driver's license. So, I'm able to, like, drive now. But, again, I need, like, a parents in the car. So, in a year, I'll actually be able to drive. I think there's, like, different, like, um laws in the states, too. Some, you like, get to drive, you start driving when you're 15 and a half. But in my state, I guess it's, like, 15 or something. So, I haven't even driven yet, but I still have my license, so that's going to be kind of scary. Well, not scary, but new, so that's just something cool that happened recently with me. But anyways, you got one more set left, and again, again just find things to talk about. So let's go to set five, last set of this workout, and then we'll see how the pump's looking. All right, set five, and the last set of this workout, so... Let's make this the best we can. Again, still trying the hardest. Trying to keep this somewhat strict form, at least I think so. So, don't worry about that. Keep hitting the star in mic. But, set five, last set of the workout. Let's go. Okay, 11 reps again, let's go. Whew. Drop set with these, this 20 pounder now, and we are done with the workout. Okay, I think that's all we're getting. Whew. And we are done. Got 11 by 7 on there again. So, yeah. Triceps are feeling amazing. Just a little review of this workout now, I guess. Again, for those skull crushers, I think those did go pretty well. Just making sure to keep concentrating on that form there. And that's about it. I think we're just going to keep... We're probably going to stop again doing those um, little partials, just, just that one dumbbell. And you can't really do, um, not partials, it's like a drop set slash partials because I don't do really full range of motion. So I think what we're going to do with those skull crushers is just going to do a set to failure because, again, you can't really do partials on those. Or I don't know if you can. I'll try, I'll try doing partials on those, but just doing like this at the bottom. I don't know. But that's about it for skull crushers for close grip dumbbell press. Again, just making sure not to like crush our mic and then um, not going down all the way, just getting a nice pump and trying not to get our dumbbells to slip. Still key on trying to keep that strict range of motion too. Then for these, again, just make sure I'm doing it right and if I'm not supposed to curve my back, don't do that. Again, trying to do it nice and slow, really controlling. I get a nice slow squeeze. I think that's really what I got to be focusing on for these um, tricep workouts. So that's about it. Let's go everybody's most favorite part of my workouts. Post-workout pump and let's see how we're looking. Guys, post-workout pump. Again, we're feeling pretty darn good right now. Again, still trying this out with this mic here. So hopefully it is, again, sounding nice for you guys compared to just using my phone. Gonna check those triceps out. I'm just gonna take my shirt off here. Again. Even our veins are looking nice. It's kind of hard to see with this lighting, but I'm going to take my shirt off real quick. Just move my mic down here. And, yeah, let's see how we're looking today. So, again, pretty solid workout. Like always, just making sure we're sticking with our strict form. Always 
going hard as you can all the way to failure. Whew, yeah, once again, our triceps are feeling nice and tight. I'm still like figuring out different ways to flex different parts of my muscle too. You can see that nice bicep vein there. It looks pretty darn cool. So, I don't know. Maybe you can see my forearms a bit better than this. I don't know, but we're feeling pretty great. We're feeling nice and pumped. Got a nice arm pump. Yeah, I think it is kind of hard to see in this lighting, but you can definitely see those like ones down there. So let's see, let's check out our triceps a bit more there. Feeling pretty nice. One thing I do notice is when I flex my triceps, my shoulders like really do some weird stuff for it kind of. It's not doing it right now, but I see it just did it like right there. It like make, makes little ripples. I don't know if I'm the only one seeing that, but I definitely am. So yeah, that's about it for our triceps. Again, I am trying to focus on trying to look at some different poses I can do. Ads are still feeling nice and tight. Nice and it's not tight but sore from yesterday. Back is feeling nice too. So yeah, again feeling great. Let's check out our back again, even though it didn't work it. It's always good to get that little full body, um, just a full body look. I did get some pretty nice shots for my back day yesterday, like um, when I just like did this. I'm still trying to figure out how to even do it correctly. I'm just moving my back in like weird positions, so I don't even know what it really looks like. But hopefully it looks cool. So, yeah, that's about it. Feeling pretty good. Don't got much else to say. I think we're going to start just doing my vacuums off camera. I'll try doing one real quick right here. Let's see, that's when I only got 10 seconds. I think my PR is like 12 or something, but I think I'm just going to start doing this off camera because it's, you know, obviously not trying to like pass out on camera. I know you guys say like, I don't know, there's some people that keep spamming my YouTube comments saying do vacuums, but, you know, sometimes you just don't want to do something. And yeah, again, we're looking pretty good. Don't got much else to say. This did go a bit long, but... Again, um, if you did watch this far, I appreciate it. Most of you guys just skipped this point, but even if you watched the whole video, that's pretty darn nice. And if you're a first time watching me, feel free to subscribe, but you don't have to. I would greatly appreciate it, do greatly appreciate it though. Again, I just want to keep inspiring other teenagers my age to start lifting weights, getting big. So don't got much else to say. Feel free to check out my Discord and Instagram link in the description. And I'll see you guys later, hitting biceps tomorrow.